Welcome, in front of me is the Otis Tano Stan, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this tablet. So in a second you should see that uh, the one I have right in front of me is locked. You can obviously see already this icon right here that signifies that the device is locked. And there is the pattern, and also Google account. So, no doubt, the tablet is actually locked. Now to get started with the bypass, you will want to connect to Wi-Fi, which I have already done so, as you can see right over here. And once you have connected to Wi-Fi, uh, you want to go back to the language selection and scroll all the way down the list and choose any kind of language from the bottom all the way up to, I believe, like Greek. I think Greek will, up, up to Greek should work. Uh, anything above it might be subject to, well, not actually working. So the reason we are looking for a different uh, language is because with a different language comes a different keyboard. And on this device, uh, the different keyboard means that we have one additional keyboard to choose from. So that's why I said uh, up to this language, it will probably work because if you go above, most of the languages have uh, the same keyboard, just additional uh, characters that you can access on the well, same keyboard. So we're looking deliberately for one that allows you to switch between. So as you can see, for instance, Greek is a great example or Russian uh, because they use Cyrillic or well, obviously a different kind of keyboards. So choose whichever one you want and that uses obviously a different keyboard. I'll stick with Greek right here. You can go to the next page and we're just gonna skip through, through this, get back to the uh, locked page. So there we go, we need to now verify our Google account. So this is the page that we're looking for. I click on the field right there, it will bring up our keyboard and in here, if the process worked, you should see a globe icon as I have one right over here. Now, there is a chance that you might have picked uh, one of the Russian languages, which, uh, or Cyrillic languages that does not give you this option for some reason. I have encountered one like that. Um, so if you don't see that globe icon, go back to the language selection, change it to some different language. So anyway, from here you want to hold this uh, icon. This will bring up this window right here. And you want to select the last option right here, which takes us to different keyboards. Now in here, we are looking to add a keyboard. I'm trying to figure it out because it is looking a little bit differently. Nope, not like that. Okay, so once you press on the button, it gives us uh, what we're looking for, which is uh, different keyboards. So to get started, you'll want to find one with an arrow on the side, as you can see, there is one, uh, there should be a couple of them. So pick one with an arrow, then select one of the options right here. And tap on this button right over here. So we have now added a, another keyboard to our device. So. Once that's done, we're now gonna go back. There we go. And we're gonna change the language back to our English. And again, we're gonna repeat the process. And again, we wanna hold the icon right there. Now this time around, I'm going to start off by switching to QWERTY keyboard. There we go. I'm going to hold it again. And again, go to language settings. I'm going to select add keyboard. And this time around, we just want to select one without an arrow, I believe. Yep. And in here, I'm going to tap on the three dots and navigate to help and feedback. 
in here you want to type in uh, use morse code or I think if you type in there we go M O O R it shows up as I suggested use morse code so you can then select it from the list and once it loads up you have this YouTube video right here click on it once give it a second and it will load it up as you can see and then you can tap on the three dots and I guess we're gonna select share not really what we're looking for ah, okay so as you've seen I selected what was it that I selected uh, three dots and uh, something whatever you've seen on the video now this isn't necessarily what I have in the guide which I am basing this on but it still got me I believe into correct place yep I did so we're looking to access our web browser which we just did so once we are on our web browser you'll want to tap on the search bar right at the top and navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass If you need a moment to write this address down, do pause the video. Now once you're on the site, scroll down to the settings application, click on it, and you're gonna scroll down just a little bit to security and location. And you're gonna scroll down again into screen pinning I'm gonna enable it and also enable lock device when unpinning now this will give us the window right here to set up our protection method now as you've seen at the beginning of the video i had one of the verification methods uh, as pattern so right here i'm gonna select something entirely different so it's not confused with that i'm for instance verifying the device with the same kind of thing that was visible at the beginning with the same actual like correct pattern so before it was a pattern i'm gonna now select pin uh, it's asking me for a secure startup let's select no and i do recommend you to set up a pattern as well and additionally to make this easy select the same one as i do so i'm gonna choose one two three four select next repeat it one two three four confirm and there we go now once your pattern has been or pin in my case has been set and hopefully in your case as well you want to hold your power key and select restart now while the device is rebooting i'm going to quickly uh, just explain why we did this so when setting up a screen pinning the device forces you to set, set up a screen lock uh, normally you would be able to set up a screen lock after you verify this but because we have kind of glitched in here the device allowed us to set it up earlier and because of that, it completely overrides the old pattern that was used before the reset that we needed to verify. So now when we get back to the verification process, uh, we will simply verify it using the pin that we have chosen ourselves instead of the pattern that was previously a uh, verification method. So anyway, uh, once the device boots back up, we do need to confirm the, uh, the pin. So one, two, three, four. We're going to now progress through the setup. Apparently, I didn't need to. Oh no, never mind. Let's go back. I do want to get the pattern verification, so. I mean, you already know the password. Why don't you just continue let me re-enter the password for my wi-fi okay that seems a little bit problematic so for some reason it might have to do with the fact that i did skip uh, and chosen to use google as a verification i'm not sure if that has any kind of meaning here but uh what i think we can do right now 
Uh, to fix this, if you have the same problem, is simply reset the device. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna turn off the device. Let's now hold power key volume up. Select recovery mode using volume up and then press volume down to confirm it. And in here again using volume keys to navigate you want to select wipe data factory reset and then press power key to confirm it. Select yes. Wiping data. Next thing you should see is data wipe complete. There we go. At which point reboot system now should be selected by default. So press power key once again. And this will initiate the reboot. So right now we're performing a factory reset of the device. So it will take a couple minutes. I think I might just pause the video and come back once it's finished and we are presented with the actual setup screen and continue from there. So uh, I'm gonna pause it and come back once this is finished. Okay, so uh, the device has finished resetting, so I'm quickly gonna go through the setup right now. Now, what I'm hoping will happen right now is once it gets to the verification process, instead of telling me to verify my uh, well, pattern as it originally was, I'm expecting it to show me verify pin instead though we're about to see if that is the case or not. It is. So it's telling me to verify a pin now. So it did uh, do what I was expecting. So let me quickly verify it. One, two, three, four, as I have said it. So. And that is also one of the reasons why I recommended you to use the same pen. It makes it a little bit easier when I'm inputting mine. You can literally put in the same thing. And there we go. As you can see, it tells us right now to sign in, but we can skip this. Skip. And from here, we can finish up the setup. Now, unfortunately, uh, there is... Uh, one last step that I, that I recommend you take, which is factor resetting the device once more. Uh, once we actually access the device like we just did, you would want to navigate into your settings. From here, navigate to system, advanced, and then reset options, erase all data factor reset, reset tablet. And I believe once you press on erase everything, it might prompt you to confirm the pin once again by selecting you know one two three four uh, and once you do that it will go to a factory reset of the device now the reason why i recommend you do this is because there is still a chance that some of the uh, verification uh, things that were previously blocking us are present on the tablet so performing a factory reset through settings will completely remove them uh, if they are on the device now i'm not sure if they are or not so I do recommend taking that extra step. It will well, take like five to 10 minutes additionally, uh, but at least you will be absolutely certain that the device is then fully unlocked. Now, once the factory reset is finished, like I mentioned, you will be back in the setup screen, but from there you can set up your tablet however you want. It is fully unlocked, so you can skip or add whatever you want. I will do this uh, basically off the screen uh, just so I don't waste your time. But like I said, I recommend doing that. So anyway, this being said, uh, this is how you could bypass the Google verification on this tablet. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.